Rio is proud to be an industry leader, producing high-quality, high-performance fly lines that exceed the demands of the marketplace. Rio's fly lines are produced in our modern, high-tech manufacturing facility, close to the banks of the Snake River in Idaho Falls, Idaho. Rio's proximity to the Henry's Fork and the South Fork of the Snake River, as well as many rivers and lakes in Yellowstone Park, has attracted numerous fly fishers to work at Rio. Their passion for fly fishing ensures that the design and quality of every fly line Rio manufactures matters. The manufacturing team at Rio is made up of experienced and highly trained staff. Each time a new fly line is scheduled to be run, the staff follow stringent quality control procedures that ensure that our customers receive the high quality line that they've grown to expect from Rio. The tests that each fly line must pass include density, durability, core centering, core strength, taper profile, and most important of all, that the line meets the AFTMA line weight specifications. Since the strength of the fly line is dependent on the strength of the core, it is very important that the strength of the core is tested to ensure the core meets or exceeds Rio's design specs. The strength test also measures the core's stretch. The strength of the fly line core is tested on a Chatillon tensile strength tester. A sample piece of core is cut off a bulk spool for testing. One end of the core is wound around a fixed sheave, while the other end is wound around a sheave that is attached to a load cell that moves at a specified rate of 10 inches per minute. During the test, the load cell continuously moves upward and away from the fixed sheave, applying more pressure on the core as it moves farther away until the core breaks. As the load cell moves, it measures the amount of force exerted on the core. When the core breaks, the Chatillon displays the brake strength. If the brake strength meets or exceeds the design specs, the core moves into fly line production. Checking the line's taper and weight is critical to ensure the line performs as designed. Each line is designed to a specific weight that is dependent on the line size. The first 30 feet of most fly lines is manufactured to meet what is called the AFTMA weight standard, a standard that helps ensure that the fly line you buy matches your fly rod. Rio's highly trained operators check the diameter of the first 30 feet of line with a micrometer and compare the diameter of the line to the design specs. To get a consistent 30-foot length, a weight is attached to the line to apply consistent tension to make sure the line is cut exactly at 30 feet. The 30-foot weight is measured in grains to determine if the line meets the AFTMA standard. The weight tolerance is plus or minus 6 grains to plus or minus 12 grains, depending on the fly line size. If the 30-foot weight does not meet the AFTMA standard, the operator adjusts the diameter of the line until it does. The operator also measures the length of each taper, the body, and the running line to ensure the line meets the original design specs. When the line being QC'd meets the design specs of the original, production will start. The lines are constantly checked during production to make sure changes have not occurred and that the lines consistently meet the design specs. It is critical to the life expectancy of a fly line that the fly line core is centered within the fly line coating. To check this, a short piece of fly line is cut and inserted into a special microscope. A custom written computer program generates concentric circles on the computer screen. The center of the core is then positioned in the center of the circles. The operator reviews the outside diameter of the coating to determine if the coating is symmetrical around the core. If the line coating is more than one series of circles off-center, the operator adjusts the fly line machine to center the core. Another very important quality control test we perform is to measure the density of the line to check that the line meets Rio's flotation and sink rate specs. The sink rate is tested on an instrument designed by Rio. The instrument is a vertical clear glass tube with a laser mounted near the top and a second laser mounted near the bottom. 
A sample piece of the line being tested is dropped into the tube. As the sample sinks, it passes through the top laser beam, starting a timer. As the line sinks to the bottom, it breaks a second laser beam and stops the timer. By calculating the time and distance traveled, the sink rate can be determined. Another type of density test is performed on floating lines to determine the buoyancy of the line. Fresh water has a density of 1.0, which makes it impossible to test buoyancy in a water-filled container. Thus, a liquid with a density of less than 1.0 must be used. We first weigh a line sample in air. Then the same line sample is weighed in a bath filled with a special liquid. The line sinks because the liquid is less dense than water. The density of the line is determined by a calculation using the diameter, the weight in air, and the weight in the special liquid. The lower the density, the higher the line will float. The typical density of a floating line is around 0.88, while lines made using Rio's proprietary Agent X technology have a density closer to 0.8. The most buoyant coatings we use are for the high floating tips that employ Rio's revolutionary Max Float Tip technology process. These tips have an incredible low density of close to 0.7, something unheard of in our competitors' fly lines. Outside of the daily QC tests we run, we also test the durability of a line. The durability test is designed to see how long a Rio fly line will last. During this test, a sample line is cycled up and down through a rod guide using a 50 gram weight as resistance. This test simulates typical wear and tear on the line from casting and fishing. During the test, each line is examined closely with a magnifying glass to identify any structural breakdown. The structural breakdown can be in the form of pinholes, abrasion, or radial cracks in the fly line coating. Each time the line is examined, the condition of the line and any flaws are noted, as well as the number of cycles run. It is almost impossible to say how long a fly line will last. Some anglers might only fish a line once or twice a year, while others, the lucky ones, may fish 200 days a year. Rio's QC standard for durability is the line coating must run for a minimum of 40,000 cycles on the durability tester without exhibiting any defects. After a fly line passes the rigors of these quality control procedures, it undergoes one last quality control test. As a fly line gets coiled from the bulk skein to the individual fly line coils, the line is run through a trained coiler's highly sensitive fingers. The coiler is feeling for any bumps, rough spots, or cosmetic defects. If a defect is found, the line is immediately rejected and destroyed. We take great pride in the lines we build at Rio, and the stringent quality control procedures ensure that nothing but the highest quality fly lines are shipped to our customers. Customer satisfaction and the pride in Rio fly lines are very important to us. After all, we are fly fishing bums and want to ensure the lines we use are the very best. Rio, because your fly line matters.